Now, here's another thing, and the reason why I like to post, on, to post on Medium, even though I only have about two followers there, but I just recently started. And also, Medium is paid, so you have to pay to have a membership on Medium so that you can write posts there. But one of the most inter interesting things, in my opinion, about Medium is that you can post your post on Twitter, right? You can take it and post it on Twitter. So, for instance, if I just click on the Twitter icon right there, and it will take me over here, and I can tweet this, right? I can tweet it to get some extra exposure. I can later on even advertise my tweet. I can click on my tweet and promote it, right? So I can promote this tweet and, you know, maybe get some more, right? So if you click here, maybe this is where, you know, you can see the analytics. But anyways, close this. You can also share it on Facebook. So if you click share on Facebook, you can share on Facebook to get some more people uh, because also people are searching for stuff on Facebook. So they might stumble upon your content right there. And you can give your stuff a title. So I'm just going to copy the title of this. And right there on Facebook, I'm just going to say something. This is what I'm going to say. I'm just going to post the title of the, the post. Now, you can also paste it on LinkedIn or share it on LinkedIn by just clicking here, LinkedIn. And most importantly, another thing that you can do is you can basically take the link, right, and paste it wherever you want. So if I click share this in the post... Right, I'm going to share it, right, post this. And uh, all right, so you can take the link, right, copy the link from here, and you can just paste the link whatever you want to on forums, on Quora, even though I highly recommend you not to do that on Quora because, uh, you know, moderators are just going to ban you. Now, in this second phase, we're going to keep exploring chat GPT. And let me show you some of the things that I personally do with this. But first of all, I'm going to have to take you to my Udemy channel. All right, so here I am on my Udemy channel. And by the way, I actually have a lot of people there. So this is my Pinterest account. Uh, let me take you to Udemy just to show you my profile because you can see it from here better. All right, so let's go and check for Passive Income Gen Z, which is the name of my channel. Now, I have 43 courses. And let me tell you, it's a pain um, in that place, right? It's a pain to just, you know, take care of, you know, messaging 104,000 students. And after I found ChatGPT, I can honestly tell you that I, it's almost like I found oil. Now, let me show you some of the things that ChatGPT actually helps me with. So if I go to the communication layer here, now I have questions from people, right? People ask me questions, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the time. They ask me, hi, I noticed that the section 36 is the same section 35. I can take this, right? I can take this answer and I can go to chat GPT here. Now, this is absurd, but I can do this and I can ask it, how can I apologize for this mistake, right? And I can just give it the mistake that I made, right? And there you go. Look at what, what, what it's going to tell me, right? I apologize for the error in section 36, section 19. It appears that it is the same as section 35. I will make sure to correct this as soon as possible. And I can take this answer, right, without having to think about it. And I can just come here and paste. All along, I'm doing this now, and it's still giving me some other, you know, other suggestions, right? So you can see. Here's another suggestion. I'm sorry for any confusion caused by the duplication of uh, section uh, or session 36, section 19, and session uh, 35. I'll make sure to fix the mistake as soon as possible. So you don't really have to think anymore. But here's the tricky part. Now, this is the tr tricky part about AI. And if you read about this in George Orwell, you know, his book, Brave New World. He speaks about there is going to be an age in time where AI is just going to replace human thinking, right? And I'm telling you this because I don't want you to fall in the trap of just, you know, relying on ChatGPT to do everything you want to do. There are certain things that you can outsource ChatGPT as if, as if it was a freelancer to do it for you, but you can't just rely on it to do everything, all right? So... Uh, do not be lazy. That's what I'm telling you. Make sure that you keep thinking, you know, at least, you know, a, a good percentage. You know, do not rely on it to think for, for you in everything because it's going to kill your creativity, right? 
You need to keep your creativity, but only use it like myself. In this case, uh, I don't want to, you know, just sit there and just have to think about this for 10 minutes or five minutes. That's why I did this. And also, here's another thing that, I, that you can do with ChatGPT, basically. Now here, there's something called the announcements here. And since I have 43 courses, for each course on Udemy, I get four announcements every month to send to my students. Now, the purpose behind these announcements is to get people back, right? To, to basically to uh, engage with students so that they can come back to the course and watch the course and basically learn more. Now, of course, I used to write this myself. I would have loved if I had somebody in my side who could do this instead of me. And right now that ChatGPT exists, I no longer have to write these educational announcements. Now, of course, for the announcements, I follow a specific method called the 16-word sales letter by Ivaldo Albuquerque. Now, here is the syntax of the 16-word sales letter. I follow this script, and I answer in my script, in my blogs that I write, I answer 10 questions. Question number one is, what is your product USB? What's in it for me? What should people trust you? What's holding them? Who? All right, so these are the questions that I answer to make people read my article, but most importantly, to get a reaction out of them. Now, I can come to ChatGPT, and let's say that I want to write a message to send to these students so that I can get them back to the course so that they can watch the course and leave me reviews, right? I can go to ChatGPT here, and here's what I'm going to do. So I can simply go here to ChatGPT, right? Well, let's go back there. And I can say, hello, I have a course, right? I have a course about Amazon, all right, SEO, about Amazon affiliate marketing SEO on Udemy. The course is 12 hours, and I want you to write a promo or a, 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 an email that I can send to my students to re-engage with them and, and to send them back to the course so that they can watch and leave reviews. My course is a best in class course and it contains 10 different chapters and it teaches people to go from SEO zero to hero in 12 hours. I also have free resources attached for as well inside the course. And I can give it another instruction, which is I want you to follow the same syntax, right? I can take these questions here and I can tell it, right? I can say, I want you to use the following syntax inspired by the book, the 16 word sales letter by Ivaldo Albuquerque, right? And right, and I can say something like, I also need you to write the subject line for the email and my goal is to make this email make people click I need a high click through rate right and I can give it the questions right so I'm just gonna give it the questions because I still haven't pasted them right so these are the questions 
and I can just click enter. So right now it's gonna start writing. All right, so sure, here's an email that you can send to students to re-engage with them and send them to watch to leave reviews for the Amazon Kick course. And there you go. So hi, we hope you are having a great day. We want to reach out and remind you about Amazon Kick. <laughs> so normally this is something that I used to do myself. It used to take me about one hour to write a simple educational message because I had to follow a script. And I had to think this, you know, and I had to make sure I had the students in mind and apply all the principles that I have learned in copywriting. But right now, what's crazy and, what, and also scary is that you can see that ChatGPT right now is doing this, you know, pretty much, uh, as, as very fast. Right, so there was an error. Now, sometimes there can be some network errors. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna take my question and I'm gonna refresh this page and I'm gonna ask it the question again, right? So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna to go to the chat number one because that's the initial chat. And I'm just gonna ask the question again, right? So when that error happens, make sure to ask the question again. So you can see on the top, at the top, it gives me the subject line. It says, unlock your full Amazon affiliate marketing potential. Enroll in our 12 hour course. Are you tired of struggling to make money with your Amazon affiliate website? All right, so it's writing everything right now. And also it's gonna answer the questions in detail. Right, so it's, it's actually answering the questions in detail, in exact detail. And what you can do later on is you can take this email, right? And you can go to a tool like Grammarly and just proofread it. So, which is exactly what I'm going to do over here. So I'm gonna go right to my Grammarly. I'm gonna open up a new tab. And let me show you how you can turn this into a high quality educational message that you can send and re-engage with students. So I'm gonna open up a new document here in which I'm just gonna paste what I have or the results that I have now. I want to convince as well as tell a story. It's for email, right? An audience is general. Formality, I wanna keep it uh, neutral. And I want to just correct the mistakes. So here, I'm just gonna correct these mistakes, these gra grammatical mistakes over here. So these are just some simple grammatical mistakes. I'm gonna remove them. And I wanna check for, pl ch check for plagiarism. So I'm gonna click plagiarism right here. And it's actually checking for plagiarism for me, right? So, right, so it's checking for plagiarism. Uh, it found 16% plagiarism, but I don't care because this is just an educational message. So uh, I can actually, you know, make an effort here. It doesn't take me that much time. Are you trying, uh, tired of, of fighting to make money instead of struggling, all right? Uh, do you seek to take your skills to the next level, all right? And tools you need, all right, you require instead of need to build a profitable Amazon affiliate business. All right, so right now it's 100% uh, original and I can just separate this and I can take it, right? I can take this basically, all right? So I can take the entire, the entire message and I can go back to Udemy and I can send this back to my students instead of having to write everything myself. I can come here and click compose so right now I'm gonna start composing my, my educational message. I can come to the inside here and just write my message and I can go back to ChatGPT and get the title, right? So let me get the title here, the subject line, unlock your full Amazon affiliate marketing potential. Obviously I cannot copy everything because there is a limit. I only have 55 characters that I can use as the, the subject line. But there you go, you have a message, right? And you can take this message to the next level by adding some images here. Uh, for instance, are you tired of fighting to make money with your Amazon affiliate website? I can go to Canva and I can search for an image uh, that has something to do with struggling, all right? So I can go to Canva here and I can just, uh, I, I'll choose this, the width 300, height 150 pixels because I want a small image instead of a big image. And I can search for uh, struggling, right? So just to add another layer, because a, an educational message that only has text is very static, right? And people are not really going to like that. They're going to say, well, this is very, very static. It doesn't really look appealing to me. No images, no GIFs, no nothing, no buttons to click. So I can search here for, for instance, uh, struggling. 
and I can get some graphics or images here. Uh, I just happen to like this one better. I think this one is good. It depicts a person struggling to get to the top, right? I can download this image, and this is the process. I can download it with a transparent background eventually. And let me go back right now to Udemy, right? And I'm just gonna upload this image from the computer, right? Uh, there you go. So this is the image. And I can go back to the next paragraph. It says, our course is designed to take you from SEO zero to hero. And I can go to Canva as well. I'm gonna delete this image here and I'm gonna search for zero to hero, right? Hopefully they can give me a good image, right? Zero to hero. Um, okay, so I think this one is good. This image about this kind of Superman person. I don't know, it's not Superman, right? So this is, this is just a hero from imagination. And remember that you can also go to uh, this tool, this other tool, this other crazy tool, uh, and you can go there as well and generate some images with AI. I just want you to remember that. Now we're gonna talk about this, uh, that tool and how you can use it to make money as a designer, as a web developer in a later section. And also you, how you can make money from coding because it can also, uh, ChatGPT plus that tool, they can help you to you know create wonderful websites or wonderful designs. So I'm gonna add the image here. And there you go. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a button, right? I'm going to add a button here because I already have a button in my computer. I'm just going to upload it directly from my computer. I don't have to go ahead and install it from Canva. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for a button watch now, right? So watch now button with, with an animation. So it's a bot button that pops out, you know, and I can click on the button. And I can link it to my course, right? I can link it to my course and click save. And I can also add maybe uh, another text that says click here to watch the course, right? And I can just link it again, right? I can just take that link, copy, and just paste it right here, right? And this is, a, this is an email that you can send to your to your students, this normally would have taken you more time. It would have eventually taken you a lot more time. Right now, with the help of ChatGPT, I can do this without having to spend, you know, so much as a, you know, just 10, 10 seconds of effort. So in the next lecture, I'm going to keep showing you some other interesting things that I can also do with ChatGPT as a digital marketer.